here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Colors and I'm back with another video and today's video is yet another bump date and it's going to be my 26 week bump date. So we are getting into the third trimester and it is getting pretty exciting so if you did not know i apologize but i've been having a lot of issues with my computer and i couldn't put out any videos i couldn't edit i couldn't really do anything so this week's uh bump day is kind of behind because actually i'm pretty close to filming my 27 weeks because as i film this video i am in my 27 weeks and actually going into my 28th week on Friday. So this is kind of where we at. So we're just gonna get caught up and pretend like none of this happened. So let's just jump right into it. So the first thing I wrote <laughs> in my 26 week recap is that I was very moody angry and annoyed yeah I was I was during my 26 week I was actually starting to really feel baby move a lot more and I was starting to get that claustrophobic feeling everyone apparently has different feelings when it comes to feeling their baby kick and stuff like that but this was like the start of me actually feeling her like seeing my stomach jump and stuff like that it was getting very weird and i was randomly emotional and i'm not gonna say i was necessarily picking fights but i was just very impatient and i was just not the one on my 26th week <laughs> life was getting a little bit different for me and the whole world was like going bad for me and that was just like a basket case so that was literally the first thing I wrote like I remember to put down on my notes was that I was moody emotional angry and annoyed like <laughs> I was not having a good week apparently so luckily I'm better now <laughs> the next thing that has happened in my 26th week uh, is that it was the first time I really started like peeing on myself <laughs> I feel so embarrassed just saying that honestly it would be like situations like I would sneeze or cough and I would just be like I'll feel a little like like a little something and I'm just be like I know I'm not going into labor. I know that it's not time. Did I just pee on myself? And yeah, I would be kind of peeing on myself. So I have learned to wear a liner. <laughs> and I I don't know, I have a love-hate relationship with liners. I don't know what it is. I need to wear one. People really should be wearing one all the time, but I think I would rather wear a really thin pad than a panty liner. So I probably should really get some because at this rate, like if I'm pissing on myself now, I'm gonna be definitely pissing on myself later. So I need to get that together, but it happened twice during my 26 weeks and I was like, girl, like this can't be life and you need to get your shit together. <laughs> TMI, I am not a pad girl. So it's like, I really hate pads. Like even when I was on my period, I was the tampon girl. Like I don't buy <laughs> pads i'll go in there go ahead get me some super plus <laughs> uh, and get on with my life because nobody got time to be feeling like they're wearing a diaper 24 7 like i can't get with that life and i know i'm gonna have to get with it when i actually do deliver because i'm not gonna be wearing them like super overflow pads that goes way from your ass crack to the front of your vagina nobody got time for that i'm gonna go ahead and get them little discreet panty diaper things and i'm just be diapering up i'm just gonna be a sexy mama in a diaper the next thing that has happened in my 26 weeks is that i didn't have a doctor's appointment because i actually went to daytona during my 26 weeks so i recently just put up a video about our going our staycation <laughs> in daytona beach and i'm going to be posting all that vlog but that actually happened during my 26 weeks so clearly i couldn't go to the doctors i didn't see them until this week i actually have an appointment today with fetal medicine at four so when i do post my 27 weeks i would be able to tell you what happened in that oh in that appointment then i wrote that also i had a lot of energy but when i sit i am a whale <laughs> i don't 
know what it is. Like, I think it's so funny. Like, it's just kind of how me and my husband talk. Like, we like to call each other like little things that we feel like the time. So, if I'm up, I can get a lot of stuff done. You know, I feel very energized and keep going. But if I sit down, I am a beach well. Like, I'm like a well that washed up the shore and can't get back to the water. <laughs> You just might as well keep me there because I'm dried up and just can't do nothing with life. So don't let me lay down because I'm just there for the rest of the day. So that's just kind of how life was. But I know I remember had a lot, having a lot of energy because we did go to uh, probably like four or five Goodwills when we was out there in Daytona, which I absolutely love. Like the fines that I was doing, they're way cheaper at the Goodwill over there than it is here. So I was finding all kind of stuff that I can um used to help decorate my baby shower little side story but yeah appetite is getting a lot more i have become a breakfast person that is definitely true i have even been um since i've been back home i have been getting up and making breakfast at six o'clock in the morning because when we were staying in the hotel you get free breakfast. So our breakfast was like real breakfast. And you know, with breakfast, you have to kind of go between, I think it's like 6 a.m. to like 10.30, I think. So every day David would leave work at like seven o'clock in the morning. So when he would leave, I would just go ahead and go to breakfast. And I think with that routine, it has made me started getting hungry in the mornings. So now your girl is starting to put on weight now and it's a little bit ridiculous. So yeah. Speaking of weight, it says that I weighed myself and I was 178 pounds. So I up 10 pounds since my pre-pregnancy weight, which was 168 pounds. Technically I was 185, lost around 18 pounds, started gaining weight, which I started calculating from the 168 weight, which is 10 pounds, and that puts me at 178. So that is kind of where life is and it's a little bit depressing but i can tell you right now without talking about my next week bump date uh your girl has went up since then the next thing i realized this week is that i finally cannot breathe when i'm on my back like my stomach is starting to crush me low key like <laughs> i'm laying on my back and now it's like i have a time limit <laughs> I can stay on my back for maybe five minutes, but after that, it's just like, no, I can't breathe. This baby is low key crushing me. The next thing I realized this week is that uh, baby Isaac is moving a lot more often for longer periods of time than she used to. So usually when I feel her move, it's usually like little jerks here and there, but now it's like I'll feel more of the rolling feeling. I think I actually felt like her head because it was kind of like a roundness when she moved because usually like i said it's a jerking feeling but now she's rolling so i think i felt her head like rolling on my side and it was pretty crazy and it's like i have a little human being inside of me which is kind of like weird a little bit but <laughs> but good weird i guess i don't know i have mixed feelings at different times how i feel about i definitely love feeling her move but i definitely have moments where it's kind of creeping me out sometimes i might forget that i'm pregnant and that's when it creeps me out the most so yeah but she's moving a lot more and a lot more often the next thing it says that my hair is growing like crazy that includes facial hair <laughs> i always low-key battle with it because when i was younger i used to like to imitate my dad a lot and i would kind of shave my chin area so now that i'm pregnant i have these all these extra hormones that my chin hair is like extra now and i have to like pluck them and sometimes i don't notice when they're there and i think i'll have a beat face but i got a beat face in the beard like i am not a guy and that is never okay <laughs> and it's not like i don't notice them but sometimes i forget because it grows back so fast like sometimes it'd be like two days later after i pluck them and it's long again like it's ridiculous and he have to be like my babe <laughs> get that together so i don't know what to do with myself i also know notice with my eyebrows i'm arching them a lot more often than i usually do so it is about time for me to take out my hair i have been trying to stretch it as long as i can because i really only want to do my hair 
about one more time roughly maybe two times just depends because i need my hair done for the baby shower but i also want my hair done for the actual labor and delivery aspect of it i know that's a little bit of a stretch to think i can make both but that's why i've been trying to keep this in as long as possible so i'm a little bit nervous on taking out my hair because even before being pregnant i have an issue with losing a lot of hair which is kind of one reason why I haven't done a natural hair video. I naturally lose a lot of hair when I take my hair out and when I wash my hair, I lose a lot of hair all the time. And I think that's a part of me having like a thyroid issue. I kind of talked about this before, but I've been diagnosed with having hyperthyroidism and then I've been told I don't and then I've been told I do. And it's kind of been this back and forth my whole life. So, but I've been told that's a big symptom. And so I'm a little bit nervous on how it's gonna be postpartum them to anything because I know girls lose their edges and they be losing hair and they be having patches that's that that is not okay one thing that has happened this week is that I noticed that out of nowhere I have become very anxious about giving birth kind of over being pregnant low-key and I don't want to sound bad but I just like I just want to deliver and I just want her to be here and I just want to start life and I just want to start building you know we're kind of in this weird space where we're just waiting on her to get here and you know i'm not working and then i'm just really making a baby right now and he can't do a lot of stuff because of me so i can't wait for her to get here so we can start getting on a routine getting forward life not saying that will be easy but at least we'll start working towards something <laughs> when it comes to actually labor and delivery aspect i'm not scared of about the pain I I think maybe it's too far away for me to really be nervous I know when it happens I probably will be I have watched plenty of labor and delivery vlogs it's like inevitable like the baby's here the baby is probably two pounds I don't know what she weighs but it gotta come out some kind of way I'm not trying to have a c-section so it just gotta happen so I just gonna have to suck it up and deal with it and just do it like <laughs> like I really don't have a choice and I think since I had that kind of mentality about it so far that it hasn't allowed me to be nervous just more excited and anxious for her to just like be here this week i did notice that i was doing a lot of research into breastfeeding like i've been very in tune into how it works when it comes to the colostrum and what happens do you what do you do in the meantime of waiting for your milk to really develop like how are you feeling the baby now from my understanding they have the colostrum which comes out before the milk actually drops and that's supposed to be enough to hold them over but then it's like what if it's not enough because i remember seeing in some cases people have to get like donor breast milk and stuff like that and i really don't want to introduce like a bottle or i really have mixed feelings about introducing like a pacifier and i'm hoping that my milk would drop sooner rather than later at least for the costume because i know the costume they only need like a tea teaspoon or a tablespoon worth of it at a time but like i know there is 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 cases where the baby needs something and you have to make a life decision so i've been trying to do a lot of research on that and i haven't got a lot of answers yet there's a lot of videos on people who are starting out to breastfeed but i feel like those first couple of days is not really addressed on actually when the milk is dropping and how that process actually works so i do plan on doing like labor and delivery videos and all that type of stuff uh that's one thing i want to try to be sure to remember to discuss when i experience it myself so it just looks like everything else is not really about baby but it's been like the process of preparing for baby so i have things like i'm looking for a baby shower outfit so the only place that I see like good baby shower outfits, like nine times out of 10, I'm probably gonna have the baby shower at my home. But um, I wanna have an outfit that is nice, flowy, but not over dramatic. Cause I'm like, I'm home. Like, but I wanna look nice, but I don't wanna spend like $100 on an outfit. Like it's not that deep. So the only place I have kind of found nice looking outfits is on Fashion Nova, but 
I'm very much a weird size person. <laughs> I feel like that sounds funny. So it's like, I'm a medium, small, large, <laughs> extra large. <laughs> Depending on where the cinches are, where the seams are and stuff like that, like obviously my stomach is a large, extra large, but everything else is kind of like my arms are large or it's shoulder, but if it don't have any sleeves, I could be a medium. As far as prices with uh, nice outfits, it seems like Fashion Nova is the best, but if you guys know any other places that I probably should look at for baby shower outfit, just let me know and put it down below and the other thing is is that i've been very lazy about the nursery i don't know why like y'all know if y'all are true rider that colors gang i was very much into my nursery in the very beginning before i was pregnant and stuff in the first like month or two but after that i like fell off and really haven't been in my room since in the nursery room since but now it's like girl you need a crib you need a, a changing table like you need to start processing that your baby will be here in like three months like get your together <laughs> the last thing i have on here is that i cannot get comfortable for my life it seems like i'm becoming more sleep deprived and nothing's working out and i cannot get comfortable for the life of me sleeping on my side laying on like i try to lay on pillows now but after a couple of hours that hurts my stomach but <sighs> this is what i signed up for and i'm pretty sure i'll do it again so i'll shut up <laughs> So that looks like it's gonna be all for everything that's going on. So let's just go ahead and go to my Pregnancy Plus app and see what they said that is going on with baby during my 26 week. She is the size of papaya. It says your baby weigh about a pound and a half. I feel like I've said this like several times and yet like <laughs> she's been a pound and a half. Like, am Am I low key about to have like a big baby? The little brain is beginning a period of growth and over 50% of the baby's energy will be used for this purpose. The lungs are developing air sacs and the membranes that allow for the exchange of carbon dioxide and oxygen is now thin enough to let your baby breathe take a breath by the end of this week, which is very cool. Even though your baby skin is loose and wrinkly at this point it will fill with fat during the third trimester your baby's eyes are completely developed and the brain is able to register various stimuli such as sound and light so that's pretty much all for her so yeah we're gonna go ahead and finish measuring this belly all right so this is her and this is just what the bumps look like with clothes on if you've seen my um, Daytona Beach vlog you kind of seen a bit of this but this is probably a handful of days later so yeah she's a little bit bigger oh she just jumped but this is the side profile this is the front I have a third eye I had gotten this <laughs> Ooh, it kind of looked better actually I end up peeling a scab and now I have a a little scar right there but my line is getting a little crooked which lets me know that she is definitely got bigger uh, I don't know if you can tell if how much my stomach looks missing the action oh my god look at this yeah but look at my belly button it's like in my a I have a basketball <laughs> But I have definitely noticed that this line has gotten darker. I'm very curious to wonder how much I'm measuring across because clearly I am out here. Now granted this is a 26 week bump date but I am 27 weeks so going on 28 weeks so granted this might not be a little fair to check for a 26 week stomach but this is where it's at and I'll be showing you again my 27 in a couple of days <laughs> so yeah this is what it's looking like if you see hair then I'm sorry about it it actually looks like I haven't grown any maybe about a quarter of an inch or something like that if y'all can see that so a slightly above 40 inches a little bit slightly larger than the 40 so that is kind of what's going on 
So yeah, I think that's gonna be all for this particular video. I don't have anything else for the week 26 I have to update you guys on. There's been a lot of things that's been going on during my 27 weeks, especially now since I did go to my fetal medicine appointment today. So there was a lot of news and just a lot. So be expecting that for my 27 week, which should be coming up in a couple days actually since my videos are behind. But yeah, I'm pretty excited about that but as far as this that will be all so if you haven't already please make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one